Hey Kay, this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab. Thanks for inviting me on your channel. Here's a tip that I use in my lab every day. The very first thing I do before I'm going to bend a wire that I do on every single retainer, rather what, whatever type of appliance it is, is I make sure that my model is balanced. And what I mean by that is that it's equal to the, to the plane of occlusion. Um, for instance, you can see that this model is crooked. So every time I go to bend a retainer wire, for instance, I want it to be nice and straight so everything's parallel. So when the doctor looks at it, the very first thing the patient and the doctor see is, wow, that looks really straight. My teeth will look really good. If you get in a bad habit of starting off and everything's not parallel, what happens is your wires will start to drift and it looks a little crooked and not parallel. So another quick tip is to mark your model. And I know you've seen this probably before in other videos, but this definitely will help a beginner orthodontic bender. If you draw a nice parallel line, you can when you're putting your wires into place, everything will be nice and parallel to the plane of occlusion. So I hope this tip helps and good luck. Hey, another great tip for new wire benders is to be able to go online and utilize all the digital technology that we have. You can go on Google and search any orthodontic appliance and be able to find dozens of pictures and techniques on how to make these appliances. We didn't have these um, 10, 20, 30 years ago. We basically either had to learn from someone else or go to the library and try to hunt something down. So take advantage of this. And